Well, we've got another rescue situation here. If you guys watch our videos, you've seen many times how many times we have to take in turtles that are basically surrendered or rescued or given up by people that can't take care of them anymore. And unfortunately, a lot of these people don't do their homework first. So our good friend John Bergman, who is the owner of Popcorn Park Animal Refuge, is here right now with yet another massive rescue that we have to take on. In all of these boxes are turtles and some tortoises that are in need of homes. And um, the season has only barely started, and this is what we're up against already. So um, here goes nothing. Red-eared sliders, the most popular pet turtle across the globe, not just here in the United States. And unfortunately, people still buy them when they're being sold on street corners or reptile shows and they're about the size of a quarter or a silver dollar. They're really beautiful and green and they look like they make amazing pets, but people are not prepared for what happens in just a couple of years. This is an adult male. The females get even larger and they are highly aquatic. See how beautiful? It's such a shame because these turtles have been so overly bred and traded, but they're really a beautiful species. And if you have something like an outdoor pond that's fully protected from predators and it also keeps the turtles in and they can't get out, um, they actually make wonderful additions to a backyard pond. Oh, yeah, here you go. Here we go, Case. That's an adult female, but she's actually a little bit on the smaller end. Most of them get out to about here. So you can see this turtle cannot live its life in a 55 gallon tank. It needs to be in something much larger. This is not what the shell is supposed to look like. Um, there's really no words. What's happening here overall is people get conned into buying these things. Um, they don't think to do further research sometimes. Um, there is a lot of information out there now that can teach you how to properly take care of these things. You know, our channel is one of them. But um, what happens is people mean well, they get their hands on these turtles, and, but then they not only keep them in too small of a uh, enclosure, but they feed them a completely inappropriate diet and, and don't provide them the proper lighting. I, this animal's shell is completely deformed. The marginals are upward and that's done. You cannot reverse that once it ends up like that. I'm uh, sorry if I'm like stuttering here, but this, this is one of the worst that I've seen with a red ear, right? Oh yeah. I mean, jeez. Unfortunately, <laughs> they come in like that. Yeah. Yep. This is really cool. You don't see these every day. So this is a nice surprise. These are razorback musk turtles. And we actually have a female already in our big aquascape pond. And uh, they're super hardy. These are full grown. Sometimes they get a little bit bigger, but most of the time this is what you're looking at. This animal makes so much better and easier of a pet than a red-eared slider would because this is all you're looking at. They don't need deep water. They don't need as expansive of an enclosure or pond as a red-eared slider we need. And these guys are beautiful and they have wonderful little personalities. They're actually an excellent cleanup crew for any aquatic environment because they run along the bottom of the water and they'll eat up anything they find. So that, that's cool. That's a pleasant surprise. What's <laughs> okay. a yellow belt? This is probably the second most uh, commonly seen slider we get. This is the yellow-bellied slider. But what's interesting is this animal is pure, and you can tell by its plastical markings and also its skin markings, but she's a little shy right now. A lot of yellow bellies are actually being bred almost out of existence because they've been crossed with red-eared sliders so much. So it's actually kind of cool to see uh, such a pure one. And if this animal had been outside, her color would be a lot more intense. They're really beautiful. They're black and yellow by nature, and there's a lot of contrast to it. Wow. This dark. Beautiful. Wow. What a beautiful animal. 
That's a tortoise that someone has really taken good care of. This is a leopard tortoise, it's a male. The people that had to give him up were heartbroken to do so. Things in life change, things happen, and we're happy to help, so is John. And um, this tortoise will be in a really good spot now with us, but uh, absolutely gorgeous. And it's a breath of fresh air when you see them in such good shape, because a lot of times, as I've already shown you guys with so many of these animals, they just come in so, you know, deformed and, and malnourished, and this animal's shell is rock solid, he's heavy, he's beautiful, so um, nicely done. This is an animal that's been well loved. So now that we've got all the boxes over here, it's time to assess the entire situation, and that means going through the boxes and looking at the animals one by one. And there's just more and more surprises. In this hand, this is an Eastern Painted Turtle, and this is what the animal's supposed to look like. But in this hand, this is also an Eastern Painted Turtle, and well, I think you could see the obvious differences. The animal's marginal scoots are curled up, its shell is lumpy, it's got sores both on its skin and on its shell. Um, unfortunately, you know, again, people really mean well, but when you don't do your proper research, this is what happens. I have no idea what's going on internally with this animal. If the outside looks that bad, the inside could be just as bad, uh, which could mean that it's not going to live anywhere near as long as this little one right here is going to. Nonetheless, we've got some work to do here. All of these turtles are gonna be going into designated ponds here on our property because we're equipped to act as a rescue in situations like this, but even we have limits, and it's insane the amount of turtles and tortoises and other animals that are unwanted that places like ours have to take in. So please, I'm not judging anybody, but do your homework. There is a plethora of information out there and this is what Casey and I do. We make these videos to try to get through to the general public about the truth behind these animals and every little aspect about it. It's, it's just crazy. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get these animals as comfortable as possible and um, move on. This is what you need to properly house these big aquatic turtles, a nice naturalistic pond with vegetation and logs for them to bask and of course full sun. And if you can't supply a pond, you can of course invest in the right tubs or pools to house them, but nonetheless, they should not be in a small fish tank. So I'm gonna put some of these painted turtles and sliders in here. They coexist just fine and they've got what they need here to be comfortable. More surprises. This is a diamondback terrapin that is extremely overweight to the point where it is actually unhealthy. This animal could be suffering from fatty liver disease, and in fact, it's probably most likely. Uh, and you could just see the rolls of skin uh, and fat that are hanging over her limbs. Um, when terrapins are kept in fresh water, they tend to eat a lot more than they would in brackish water. Remember, this is a brackish water species. So ideally they should be in brackish water. It's not that you can't keep them in fresh, but you have to be prepared that they're going to want to eat more. And people often miss that trigger and that warning sign, and they just keep feeding them because these things are like garbage disposals, they'll keep eating. So this animal's gonna live out here in this pond now, and we're gonna monitor her intake, and hopefully with the natural sunlight, the more fluctuation in temperatures, which is good for them, she won't want to eat as much, uh, and they're just gonna have to keep tabs. Beautiful turtle but uh, severely overweight.
So here's the big female yellow-bellied slider, and there was also a male in this rescue. I'm gonna release them into this pond, but there's a couple other yellow bellies, uh, and they can be among their own species. This is also where the Gulf Coast box turtles live, and those two species occur alongside each other in nature, so it's a perfect fit. Look, he's actually, he's taking a drink. This turtle is an aquatic turtle. He's actually drinking right now because he's probably been so dehydrated. One major plus side to all of this is that it's spring, so it makes it a lot easier for us to take on a volume of animals in need this time of year when they can go right outside. Sometimes this happens in the dead of winter, so you can imagine how hard that is for us. But let's leave off on a positive note and let's check on this leopard tortoise we just got, and he's cruising over here. He looks very happy. Hey, buddy. This tortoise is so beautiful and so healthy, and I think he's gonna settle in just fine here. I've been keeping tabs on him throughout the day, and he's walking around in here eating all the edible vegetation, and he's walking tall, which is important. With any tortoise species, you wanna see them have a nice, tall, strong walk. That's a great sign of their health. Of course, their weight. He is absolutely rock solid, and I think he's gonna do great here. But what he's in, this is what you need to provide for an African species of tortoise like this that grows pretty large. It needs to be an expansive pen fully protected from predation. It has to be constructed so that the tortoise can't get out. It has to have edible vegetation, be in full sun, be well drained, and of course, the greenhouse behind me also goes a long way in helping him thermoregulate on those less than favorable days. So, not an easy task, but the point of this video is, folks, regardless of the species, whether it's small, whether it's large, common, or rare, do your homework. There are channels like ours out there, there are care sheets, there are videos galore telling you guys the actual truth behind these animals. Don't just pop into a reptile show and grab the first thing you see because you can afford it or because it's beautiful. Do that research. We will always be here to provide you with the most updated information and to show you what we go through here too. So if you wanna see more of what we go through when it comes to rescues, check out this video right here.